Hello. I just wanted to make a uh, short video today to show you another method for making rectangular and square holes in sheet aluminum. Now I specify aluminum because I really doubt that this would work in steel. Aluminum is so doggone soft, it works really well with this technique. So what I've got here is a piece of 40 thousandths aluminum and I've drilled two starter holes. What I've got here is a little router table I made just for this purpose using a, a standard off-the-shelf Ryobi router from Home Depot. In it I've got a 1 8 inch single flute bit. Nothing magic about that. And I use these guides to guide the workpiece around the bit as I make the openings. Uh, I've tried a number of different methods. I've tried doing this with dig saws and get so-so results and uh, used aviation snips. They don't really work real well in tight corners. They're a little bit awkward to use. Um, of course you can use a punch. That's rather time consuming. Uh, or you can go the CNC route with a CNC punch and um, that's that works excellently, but it's very expensive. And uh, if you don't have $50,000 laying around for a CNC punch, uh, you might want to try this if you're putting holes in aluminum. So, as you can see, I have two starter holes drilled here that uh, the bit will go into as I start to make the openings. I'm wearing safety goggles, of course, and when you do this, you want to keep your fingers away from the cutting bit, obviously. I found a little WD-40 here goes, uh, goes a long way in, in helping the cut along and uh, increasing the life of the bit. And it, the cut itself is actually a little cleaner if you use a light lubricant like WD-40. So let me show you how this works. Okay. Goggles on. So we're going to slip this right over that bit like that. A little WD-40. And here we go. a little bit here. So there we have two perfectly made holes in aluminum. Uh, 40 thousandths aluminum. Nice and even and square and uh, in line with each other. They're evenly spaced. So this is a pretty good technique for, for that. Not terribly expensive to make your little router table. The guides are just one inch aluminum angle held in place with clamps. And um, I use Clecos too for the different positions. So you can open up this or close it up to uh, any dimension you want to make any size hole you want. Really, th the only thing that's going to limit you is the size of the table itself. So, you know, bigger pieces, you'll need a bigger table. Smaller pieces, this is just fine. This one's 30 inches by 30 inches. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, just another, another method, another trick for your magic bag of tricks, and I uh, hope it's useful, and uh, thanks for watching.